Hi, everybody. Hi. I see Telly may or may not be in the house. I have Martha. I have Olivia. Hi, ladies. How are we? Are we doing okay? I was just watching um, Adam Savage. He was the guy that I should look up. I, I never know where the hell to look. Myth, buff, myth, myth Busters. And he was doing a replica of Mandalorian's laser blaster. And he was painting it. And he was airbrushing it. And I've been looking at a lot of people doing airbrushing. But you have to get like a booth. Whatever. It's too much. And I don't think I need all of that. I have the... StreamYard chat on. I don't know if the YouTube chat. I'll see if I can get that up. No, okay. That's good. All right. So how is everybody doing? I have stories, but go ahead. How are we doing? Um, everybody knows that I have rotten teeth. And, oh, it's this part. Again, this is the backwards one. So two Sundays ago, I was biting into a nice little bagel and the tooth right over here is what I was told by the dentist was very weak then the tooth behind that is not doing so great and I'll explain why because the tooth behind that is an implant and when he was putting the implant in that's like three teeth back he told me that the tooth in front was leaking or some nonsense. I, I don't know. So you had to do something with that. Hi, Joanne. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. You're the one who started all this. Hi, sweetie. So when this one, the one, the first one cracked, I bit into a bagel and all of a sudden I heard some clunking going around in my mouth. I'm like, oh, shoot. And it was my tooth and it broke off right at the gum. And that was exciting. And um, so I just called the oral surgeon right away. Then the dentist called me, my dentist, and he said, well, you want to come in and uh, let me see? And because I was just going to the oral surgeon to get it removed because what were they going to do? And uh, so I went in to see him and that, you know, we talked about the one behind it. So the oral surgeon pulled two teeth out, the one that was at the gum line, the one that was right behind it. The one that was right behind it, the one that had caused me problems with the implant, had a root canal. So it was a mess. I'm trying to get that out. And so now I'm sort of lisping. <laughs> so if you hear me lisp because there's more holes in my mouth than I'm used to, eating is hysterical because I have to almost like constantly be drinking something to make the, uh, the food softer. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, well, the thing that happened was the extraction was a little bit more painful than other extractions, but then I got a canker sore, nice large canker sore between my gum and my cheek. And that was as painful as hell. And I didn't know if the whole area was getting infected and they say, never let anything in your mouth get infected. So I had, oh, had to go back to the oral surgeon again. And he gave me a uh, cortisone cream to put in my mouth. And I'm looking up because that looks like where I'm, I, I can just look straight ahead, but then it doesn't look like I'm looking at you people. Okay, whatever. So I was putting cortisone cream and that helped. That's all. So we've been having other issues, which I'm sure we'll talk about as we go. Okay. Hi, Sandy. You're here. You're dotting and watching. Excellent. You keep dotting. And Shirley, how are you, honey? How are you feeling? Last time we had talked, you have been suffering from allergies. So I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, everyone in the house has gotten two shots. I don't know if you're pro-vaccines, not pro-vaccines, whatever it is, but we're all pro-vaccine. Everybody's got two shots. Eddie is still working on because you have to wait a couple of weeks, but he doesn't care. He's out seeing everybody. Miss Higgins, you're here. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. How are you feeling today? I hope everybody's doing okay. Like I said, I'm going to be lis lisping. Then my other dentist said to me, he wants the regular dentist, he wants to put in two like fake temporary teeth. And I'm like, hey, Lynn, how are you, sweetie? 
And I'm like, you know what? I don't think so. I'm wearing a mask. I don't really think so because all it's going to do is cost me more money. Nobody's giving me any of this stuff for free. And my dental insurance doesn't cover implants. So, okay. I'm so glad we're all here. Oh, is this under Martha and Olivia and Shirley and Joanne? And where's Christine? You know, I told Christine and she tells me to tell her and I tell her. And oh, then Sandy was here. She's nodding. I'm so glad to see everybody. I've missed people. It's been sort of busy between missing teeth and all sorts of other things, but the other things we'll just leave alone and just go to the, and I'm so glad Lynn's here. Lynn, you just had a birthday the other day. So she's a birthday girl. I think it was a couple of days ago, right, Lynn? I hope so. You know, I don't really do good with remembering things. Okay. So let's get down to what we're doing tonight. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um going to show you the finished piece or the almost finished piece and then um move backwards or just show it to you how i did it and i'll explain why uh the last live stream which was i don't know how long ago it was it was a while ago hey tracy how are you tracy's here everybody as like you can't see that <laughs> sorry here we go okay the last live stream when I was making my um, sea tra uh, travel steamer trunk, Joanne had mentioned that she thought it was a crib. And she gave me this idea of making a gothic crib. And it would go perfect if, and I know Martha, I'm sorry, if I could ever figure out what to do with this mouse. I'm having a lot of problems trying to figure out the outfit and where I want to go with it. But I'm um, thinking that maybe now that I'm getting the crib done, I'll just look at it and really try to get the inspiration so I can show you how I finish this. Okay. But I figured she could be a evil fairy saying hello to her little minion in the crib. Now, the mouse I'm going to make for the crib is going to be a baby mouse. And I don't think that I can needle felt it because it's going to be really, really, really tiny. So I'm probably going to do that in polymer clay. And then I can flock it, which will make it look a little bit more fuzzy. Um, and all you do is after you bake it, you know, you uh, rub the piece with acetone. Then you put on glue. And I'm not sure what glue I like to use. I'll probably do some tests. And then I have white flock, but I have very, very like fine flock um, to put on it. So I'll see. So Krista, you're here. Hi, sweetie. I hope, how you feeling? I'm so glad you're here. I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm glad, Tracy. I'm glad you're doing great. Good. You're doing, I hope you're doing good too, Krista. And all of you ladies, Barbara, you got to tell me how you're feeling. I haven't spoken with you today. Okay. So I decided I wanted to do a gothic crib. And I'm going to switch the cameras around. Hold on. Let me see if I remember because it's been a long time since I've done this. And let's go. Oh, it worked. Yay. Okay. And the problem, oops, then I lost my chat. I don't know if YouTube is ahead. We'll have to see which one's ahead because I got both of them here. And one of the things on StreamYard it said was to close all YouTube, um, whatever, openings or whatever you call that because it, um, it makes your thing clearer if you do. You get better stuff, get better transmission, whatever. Okay. So when I decided, when I wanted to try to do this gothic crib, the problem I was having was not lack of ideas. It was too many ideas. And I have a lot of people, I'm feeling some better. Okay, good. I'm glad. And you, okay, Christy, you're starting your new medication on Monday. Okay, keep me up on that. All right. See, I know you were changing it. I'm glad. Keep me up. And Barbara, I'm glad you're feeling better. Barbara, would you do me a favor and yell at Christine? 
because she told me to tell her and I told her. Okay. So there was so much inspiration. I have so much uh, that I could, I could use. I was looking at this, which is a Sizzix cutter. You know, this looks gothic to me. I don't know why that's not okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Here, I'll show that. I don't know why I did. No, I didn't delete it. Sorry. What? Go ahead. Put it up there. I don't know. If Barbara or Martha, the peas, all the peas, could you do that okay? For me? I don't know what I did. Hopefully, I didn't knock her off. Okay. Um, There were so many different options that I had between this and I have some other paper cutters that had very few. And I have to babysit the two-year-old grandson and 6 a.m. comes very fast. Have a great day. Okay, Olivia, I'm so glad that you came in to say hello. You have a great night. I know it's very late for you over there. Have a wonderful evening, Olivia. Thank you for coming in to say hello. Um, so I had this going on that I thought I could use. I went to Renee... Uh, bouquet. Okay. I'm telling June I got it not on with her. What? I don't know what that's about, Martha, but that tell let me, telling June I got I got it not on with her. Duh. Okay. I'm not sure what that was, but whatever. So I got these pieces thinking that, and I'll show you something else. When you do the up, the up part of the crib, let me show you this. Let's make some sense. Oh, that was the kitten on your keyboard? Oh, how cute. Well, your kitten type's very nice. So whenever I can't figure out what I'm doing, or even when I can't figure out what I'm doing, I always go to Pinterest. And I started a board uh, on Gothic Cribs. And I was looking at all these gothic cribs, and I was, and that was almost too much because I couldn't figure out if I wanted a rocker like this. Hey, Telly. Hi, Telly. I'm so glad you're here. A rocker like that. Then I fell in love with this one, and this one really fell in love with that one. So there was a lot of different ways that I could do this. And it was getting a little, little, and then there's like duplicate pictures. Um, getting a little bit confusing. So the stands for the crib, I didn't know if I wanted to use this for it, but this didn't look gothic. It looked more like if I was doing a walnut type thing, you know, if I was going to um, polymer clay a walnut shell, it, that would have been more uh, foresty or stuff like that. So that wasn't a good idea. So we put that away. I have a four week old kitten. Then we decided that I have these beads, these wooden beads that came off most of the, the dark brown ones came off a necklace and I'm just showing you all these ideas because if you want to not that anybody wants to go and do a crib but you know this is good for the backs of chairs too um something to this effect and this is I think balsa and that's a piece of hair which nobody needs to see uh you can put pins through the balsa if you do it very gently and you can you know put these beads and if you have a lot of beads in your house or you know these you could get rice beads because that's pretty much the size and this to me sort of looked ouchy like the side of a crib which you would have and then you could stick this you know, you could get the long pins. I would make the hole first with a, with not a thick pin and then push through the long pins because you don't want to crack your balsa wood. And you could line it up any which way you want with this type of a thing. You can put circle, you know, circle first, this, that, or the other thing. And then you can put another, I don't have another piece of this here, 
but you can go like that and you can make the sides of a crib. Okay, so that was an idea that I had, but it didn't feel gothic -y enough. I also have these beads. I don't know. I have a lot of beads. I used to, you know, do snowflakes and this, that, or the other thing, but but these beads are good for crowns also. Um, you could do this for the top, you know, to be the top and then put the rest of the beads down here and then another piece. So you have, you know, ones with this big ball or you could get smaller balls. It just depends. But I didn't like that because it just didn't feel very gothic. And I had, like I said, I had all this stuff here, all these things here. And there was just almost too much, too much, too much, too much um, choices. So then I went, I got an email from Alpha Stamps. And Alpha Stamps, I don't know if anybody knows about Alpha Stamps. It has a lot of chipboard. It has a lot of paper. It has a lot of miniature miniatures. It has a lot of things on there. And it's a really fascinating site. There's tons and tons of stuff. I started watching that when um, uh, Nicola, I forgot her name. I mean, Badalina, I forgot what her uh, YouTube channel is. But she always used to use things using Alpha Stamp stuff. Um, that was where I first saw the funeral coach, although uh, Nikki had it in her store. So I decided that I wanted to use a gothic fence. I love fences. I love gothic fences. So let me show you. I'll show you the piece that's not totally done. And this is what I made using the gothic fence and, and some also um, Dresden trim and a few other things. Now, what's left is I have to, it rocks a little bit. Uh, I have to put the tool hanging here. And I also have to put the top. And I think it's really looking very gothic-y. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm going to show you the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I couldn't figure out how to do this. Um, hey, Phyllis. Welcome. Hi, Phyllis. I couldn't show you how to do this on live because I was making it up as I went along. So this is, this is it as it stands, except for the top, like I said, and some tool. And then maybe we will make the, um, the bedding that goes in here tonight. Okay. So I know it's a little backwards, but I figured uh, there's no way I could show it to you, like I said, while I was doing it because um, it, just, it just wouldn't have worked. Now, one of the things that I got from Alpha Stamps, let's see, is this is called Dresden Trim. I don't have all the pieces, and I don't know why, because that would really stop the whole thing if I can't find. Ah, there they are. Okay. This is uh, Dresden Trim that you can, you can get it in all different colors. <laughs> no, Joanne, there's not going to be any pink on this guy. No, no, no. Tool is black, or I have some of this left over, but I don't have enough pieces of it. And I think that the dot is just a little too big for the tool, for the um, hanging curtain. I might just use a little of it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But this is the tool I'm going to use. Uh, it will be a baby mouse, Phyllis. That's going to have, um, uh, what do you call it, horns. And you can blame Joanne. 
she is the instigator. Oh, okay, yes. Some more stuff that I was looking at to use when I couldn't figure out what I wanted was I have those little molds that I have done in the past on YouTube. Um, and I filled them with liquid clay. And I had all of these things that I can put. As a matter of fact, I did use uh, some right there just to, to, you know, make that a little bit um, decorative. Okay. So let's go and show you. Then we have, this is the one I used. So let me take that out. Um, they have this. Now they have, they have these in different colors. So if black is not your color that you want to use, that's fine. Or you can just buy this and paint it whatever color you want. You need to put a shrunken head on the top. <laughs> um, and then this one is just a very fine little bead. I think you can see it. So I use this one and I use this one. So let's start. Let's get some scissors out. And the reason why I'm working on this poor thing, this was one of those silicone sheets. It is since it's really in bad shape because I've used a lot of, uh, what do you call that? Super glue super glue on it and uh it just it it worked but it's it was mounted onto a piece of glass that broke so i just wanted to finish it for this project and then this is going to go on the i was thinking of uh krista i was thinking of putting like a skull on it but i just decided i wasn't going to like a mouse skull hey ashley how are you welcome hi ash um to the show so you get this fencing like this Without this on it, I'll explain that. I think it's about this long, and I got three pieces. And I took, when you get the, the fence, this is another fence that I bought because I wasn't sure what I was doing. You get, um, it comes like this. Now, if you're lucky enough to get any of these little inserts, that didn't come out, keep them because I, I'll show you where I use some of the inserts for uh, this fence. And what I did was I took this fence's top part like this right here, the top part, and I glued it to the bottom. You can see the, um, you can see this in here, the impression of that in there. I glued it to the bottom to give me more sp uh, stability. Now, one of the things that um, Heather Tracy, Martha and I used to love to watch Heather Tracy did, was she would take any kind of her cardboard cutouts and she would put this super glue. It's super fast. It's thin. It's whatever you know what I'm trying to say it's very very thin it's like water and she would put it all over anything that was made with paper to stiffen it up and it really did stiffen this up very very stiff and then I put it when I glued this on the back I put it on here so this is very very stiff considering that this is so fragile um I wish I knew where I was going more before I did that because it made cutting this virtually like very, very hard because you don't want to crack it. And I did crack it in a few spots, but it glues right up. Act as is jealous and yells at them. Okay. But I needed it to make it stiff. If I knew where I was going or how I was going to do it, at the beginning, I don't think I would have put this on here until more towards the end because it made cutting this very difficult. So the first thing I had to figure out was how many um, of these, these, the big spikes that I want. And I like working in odd numbers. So I decided that five plus, uh, five plus going right to the end here and cutting off this little top and going right to the end here would give me enough. And then I decided that I wanted three spikes on the back end. So when I finally got that figured out, that was step one, but that took me a while. Now, let me get some glue.
Ooh, this is messy. I finally got some Aileen's Tacky Glue that works. The last one that I had, wait a minute, what am I being so stingy for? Edwina, hi, how are you? Welcome. Ah, uh, wood fell down. Oh, probably a paintbrush. Okay. So I wanted something to go in between here because I just thought that that was too much and I wanted it to look less like a fence. So I figured out that these little things, if I cut them, thank you, Telly. If I cut them, right in between each one and then trim them if necessary take a little of eileen's tacky glue i was using a toothpick for this but you know what i like this little tool better because i can clean it off when the glue and I can tell that this one's going to be a little too big on one, one side. So let me just trim it. So you're trimming to get each spike <clears throat> up. And then you just glue it in between. I can't see because I just took off my glasses. Hopefully you can see. Then what I did was I put a little bit more glue in case if I cut it um, to make like a connection on the sides. A little bit more glue on the back. I see chats moving. Sorry, I can't look at chat right now. I just want to get this to get on here. And through trial and error, and sometimes it came off, I got it in. So you do it again, and I have to tell you, for the amount of times I did this, it's not bad to do it once or twice while I'm, you know, talking to you ladies, but this got mighty tedious. A little glue on the sides. Okay, and if it didn't fit, you could always trim it down, but this one's a little bigger, and it'll fit. Okay, and make sure it goes down. Sometimes they were a little up, but these st are still paper, and everything is getting painted black, so it doesn't, it won't show. Am I missing chat? A little mouse with horns. Yeah, I'm doing Rose, Mi Rose Mice's Baby. Rose of Mice's Baby. Yeah. Okay. So I did that. I figured um, the best way to go about this was to make it like an assembly line. Only I was the only person in the assembly line. So I cut off or I cut all of these out. Tried to cut them as nice as I could. I still had to trim some. And then I glued them all in. And then I wanted to have something in between them. And that was interesting too, because I, I didn't know exactly what. And I figured out that, and I'm hoping I can get this, one big bead and one little bead. Can everybody see that? Was the exact the exact amount of um, spacing. They fit the spacing that I needed. Zoom in. I'll oh, come down closer. Is that what you're saying? I hope then it doesn't because 
I can't, I'm not wearing my glasses, but that's as far as I didn't do a, uh, an autofocus. Let's see. Let me look. Let me put my glasses. Okay. Well, I'll just pull it up. Men. Okay. So I have my big bead and my little bead. And I needed a piece of wire. I didn't care what color wire because, again, everything is going to be painted black here. Oh, okay. I have a little piece of wire over here, a little white wire, so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay. Picking all of this stuff up. I don't know, maybe it's because my fingers are getting old and they're arthritic, but that was a pain in the neck too. Oops, and I just moved chat. This mouse sometimes is very, very, very um, sensitive. Okay. So then, now which way, which way did I do it? The little one was up. Okay, so then I would take a bead, and I'll show it to you once I got them both on here. And this was how small we were working. Okay, and I would turn it in the back. And this wire is a little bit longer than what I was using. I put some glue. I think I used um, I, uh, fabric tack for this because uh, it took quicker. Get fab oh, let me get the fabric tack over here. It dried quicker. Um, alpha stamps. I was talking about it before. Uh, it has paper. I love alpha stamps. It has chipboard. It has paper. It has little miniatures. Um, it has a lot of stuff. I have to rely. Yes, my tweezers. Yes, I need my tweezers, my my um, whatever you can, needle nose pliers. I, my fingers just aren't doing. And I just made it crooked, but that's okay. I'm just trying to get it so it stays on there. And again, the wire was a little bit smaller. I didn't use such a long piece of wire. I tried to get it a little bit smaller. And just press it in. And then when it was on, I tried to make sure that it was in between the point the points in between that point and that point so that was step one okay i did that for all my pieces then let me i'm not going to do any more i think you have the idea of what i did here okay then I have these pearls. And let me get, didn't want the, I talked to you about getting this little pen, and at the time when I got it, I really liked it. But then all of a sudden, all of my, um, I don't know what this is. What do you call that white stuff that's like candle? Paraffin. Paraffin, it just, the chip, it just came off the top. Hey, Ray, how you doing? Hi, sweetie. Welcome. So the top fell off. I tried to melt the wax and stick the top back on, and all of a sudden it fell off again. So I remember I told you that I, you know, I thought that this was a really good good thing, but now I can just use this part right here, unless I want to start playing with paraffin again, and I don't have paraffin in the house. But that's okay because I use this thing, this part. Okay, so now we take... I'm going to take my glasses off again because I can't see what I'm doing with these. These were a bunch of little pearls that someone had sent me. And so we took the big ones. I opened up the slot to the big ones. 
at my desk, I have to tell you, my desk was an absolute mess. Between one thing and the other and the other, it was an absolute disaster zone. And where did I put the big ones? Oh, okay. So I would take some glue. And in all of these areas right here, I would put big pearls right in those. And then right in here, too much. Not enough. Okay. And there's a hair in the glue. How the heck did I get a hair in the glue? Okay. And where, what else did I do? That was it, right? And I repeated it down there. Okay. So I would take a big, big one. Where is that? And I found this end. I know it sounds a little disgusting, but I'm not looking at chat. I'm just trying to get a pearl. Okay, it's off kilter, but we'll take it right now. I put a big one over there, got it in the center, and and then I think I took the little one or the next size from the little one. I'm not sure, but for you know, you could figure that out yourself. I think it was a, the next size down. Is it that size? No, it was the little, little ones. There's three sizes in here, I think. And I put a little one right there. Okay. So for every one of these right here, I would put a big one, and that included the ones down here. And for every one of these little areas where these met, and that included these little guys here, I put a little pearl and let that dry. And this is just to get, and they wonder, <laughs> oh, wait, ow, I just smacked my thing. I'm sorry. First of all, we have to put the hat backwards because I keep smacking my camera. Oh, okay, the diamond art has a great pen and wax, a little stuff. Oh, okay, I don't diamond dot, though. I, you know, I can put, um. I put some wax in there. I've also put liquid polymer, dipped this in li liquid polymer clay. And like I said, it sounds disgusting, but if you put a little saliva on it, it holds them too. So, okay. We, we use all sorts of, we, whatever we have, we're using. All right. So what's the next part? Oh, okay. Here we go. And then when my thing got too gunky, I would just take my X-Acto knife and the glue when my when the point got too yucky. And there goes those scissors again. I hate those scissors. They pop. They make me jump every single time. Just clean them off. Okay. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Welcome. Come on in. Watch. Okay. Now, then these pieces right here. Where's my little pointed thing? These pieces right here looked a little too flat to me. This right here. And this. And so I took my gallery glass, liquid leading. Okay. All right. And now I got better at this at the end, but what I tried to do, let's see, it was easier when it's down on the, on a piece of, you know, when it's down is just make a bead, go over the, that part. Now, surprisingly, and I'll show it to you over here because this one is already dry. It draw it dried very flat as compared to, and I, I don't think I can show you, maybe this way. You know, this was much higher than that, and it dries very flat. So when the time came, when they all dried, and this takes a while to dry really well, I went over and put another another one on it. Okay, so each one of these top pieces 
Got two coats of the gallery glass front and back. When that was all done, and that took, again, I almost ran out of pieces because I, I couldn't figure out uh, the size of this thing that I wanted. I took this, which is balsa wood. I don't know the size. It's, what, less than a quarter, maybe an eighth of an inch. And I cut pieces that were pretty long. And I started to glue the sides into the pieces. I tried to mortise and tendon them, like using this little piece right here. And make little holes in the wood for them. And I was able to do it on this side and for the front and the back piece. But the side panels are just glued right flat to this. Now, originally, I left them pretty long. These were pretty long on the piece. They were much longer than they are now. They were pretty much this size because I didn't know, still didn't know exactly what I was doing. <clears throat> I didn't know if I was going to be able to build this piece. This is, I'm sorry, this is too down far for me. I didn't know if I was going to be able to build this, so I didn't know if I was going to put this on a rocker. It was a little bit uh, confusing, but I decided to try to build this, and I wouldn't cut these down, so I didn't finish them. I just left them like this because if I had to do something else, I wanted to have enough stick. Thank you, Ray. I wanted to have enough stick in case I wanted to put it on a rocker instead of this whole contraption. But then I just decided, you know what, June? Go for it. So I had my pieces all all duded up. Um, I also, after this was all done with all of this trim, I again I went over and I gave it another one of these with the uh, super glue, this liquid one, the super fast bond. I don't know how to say cyan acrylic, whatever, a whatever. It's super glue, and I have to say when you use this stuff, especially this one, uh, it sticks. It absolutely stinks. So I was trying to do it over here and go, you know, while well, you can't see over here, put my head way back because the smell of it was very intense and it's very sticky and you think you didn't get your finger in it, but I'm telling you, you got your finger in it. So because it was always, I had to have my acetone right here because it, my finger was sticking to everything. I lost a few fingerprints on this thing. Um, I put this all over everything because this also strengthened this paper that was right here because I showed you it's just Dresden trim. And it also surprisingly kept the, um, what is that called again? I don't want to say the wrong thing. The gallery glass that I put over here, that could just, when it dries, I could just chip it right off and it would come right off. And I didn't like that because that, there's no staying power with that. But once I put this on, that kept that on also. Um, so I was very pleased about that. And later on, when I was building the side, I had to take off one of these pearls. Uh, and it was it was really hard. I had to scrape it. And, you know, you're trying to be very gentle. I had to take it with the pliers and scrape it. Now, originally, all I used was um, Aileen's Tacky Glue. So, but once I use this over the whole thing, it, it wasn't coming off because it drips, it goes into everywhere. Okay. So I did that. I did that. Okay. So I decided to try, and this was, um, I just said, I'm just going to go for it. If I don't like it, that's fine. I'll do something else, but I'll do the rocker. I'm going to take a breath. Hold on. That's all CA glue. Yeah. This one, Edwina, this one's like water. This particular one um, that I was showing you, wherever it went. This it says thin and it just flows all over the place. Um it, you know, when you put it on, you you know, you could just put it on the top and it would drip down, which is fine. Um, it has like a shiny. Um, when it's done, it has like a shiny, uh, finish to it. 
But then I didn't care because I was painting this all in uh, gesso anyway. Okay, I don't know if you could see it, but there's still like some parts of it that I missed. You can see that it's shiny right there. And even after everything was glued, because I used, I think I used either um, Eileen's tacky glue to glue these in. I When you go over it with that stuff, it's not coming out. So the base. So I took the first piece was, I made two pieces, straight pieces like this for here and here. And then I went like this. Okay, for that, to connect them. All right, now this was some fun things that I did. For the center bar here, after I connected them, I also glued another piece here like this. So it was like a ledge. And what was I going to say? Yes, that's, yes, that's um, Edwina. That's where I learned this from. That's for, oh Shannon's here. Hi Shannon, how are you, sweetie? Hi, um, Edwina. That's where I learned it from. Was Heather Tracy? This is all Heather Tracy as far as the CA glue to, is concerned, and that's a great. I can just call it CA glue, and everybody knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so for this bar down here, I had one piece that went like this, and I glued. Where to go? I glued this trim I glued this trim one on either side right like that and then I glued this on top of it you know on the bottom or whatever I wanted it to stick up a little bit because it looks more gothic -y when it sticks up and then I took this little tiny this thing this little trim which looks like, and I showed it to you before. It's just like little beads, little dots. Come on. I should just leave it out because I want to. It's just like little dots. There you go. You could see it there. It's just little tiny dots. And I glued that there right on this little piece right here that was sticking out. Just when you make... One of the things I wanted to say is when you're using a lot of any one color, you better use, you, um, you have to have a lot of texture. Otherwise, it just gets as boring as heck. Now, I don't know if you see, I got to put my glasses on, whatever. CA glue, right. I know, I don't want to call it super glue, right. CA, yeah, mm -hmm, CA glue. So that was for this centerpiece right here, which strengthened this board. And then, like I said, I put these two pieces here, one piece here and one piece there. And then I used, and I love this idea. This was something, again, I used clothespins. Because I was trying to figure out how to decorate this whole thing and I, I couldn't figure out how to decorate it and I didn't know if I you know the problem was for me if I can get the darn clothespin out of here okay was whatever I did on this side I wanted to do on the other side and I can't yeah I wasn't okay here we go the desk is a mess again because there's all sorts of stuff all over okay let's clean up the glue Okay. So I wanted to decorate the wood and I didn't want to sculpt it. And any of my little molds that I showed you before, they're really right or left centered. They're not straight down. So what I did was I put... I cut off this little piece. Do I have my little cutty thing here? Oh, yeah. I have my little cutty thing. Easy cutter. This I saw with Martha and Ara. 
and I just cut off like this a part where it starts to tilt back down. So I lined it up as best I could. There was also a lot of sanding going on here. Okay. And sanded it. And then so that it would hold the piece of wood. See, it's like this and like this on top of, and then there was a piece of wood coming straight up. I cut out using, what did I use? Oh, I used my little Dremel to cut a slit and cleaned it up with my X-Acto knife so that this piece would sit right in there to make the legs here. And then I had a piece coming up here and this was fun because it was easy. And I just glued these on the side, on both sides, the little pipe cleaners on both sides because I felt that that was gonna give me a Gothic look. And they were uniform as much as these little things can be uniform. And so I glued them on this side and I also glued them on the other side. And so that's how I got the shape of this, the shapes on either side. Then for the center, the center right here, I had, I again, looking through everything, um, I had this necklace that I just, un I you know, cut it off, cut these old things, the jump rings off. I glued one down. I put a big pearl, one of those big pearls in the center to space it. Then I glued the next one down, big pearl, next one. Next. And it gave it some kind of texture. It's not really gothic-y, but it just, because it's round, but it was texture. And then I took little pearls and I glued them onto where the holes of this is. These little holes right here. I glued a little pearl on. So, and then, okay, the finishing touch was these things. I didn't know how to finish it on top. So I, I just was looking around in my all my stuff that I have. I had like three of these. You can still get these, I think. I had I've had them in gold and I've used them for like torches um and stuff like that, but or I don't even know all the things I've used it for, but I put it on top. I trimmed it down a little and just shoved it on top. And that is how the points came out here and on that side. I don't know what these are called, Edwina. Um, if somebody knows in chat, Martha, you might know because it's a beading thing. It has a hole. It's a decorative bell cap, uh, bead cap. They're for making bolos. Okay, see, Martha knew. I, I don't even know how I would find to get them again. They have a lot of texture to them. I'm not sure if my camera is um, picking up all the texture that it has in it. Oh, maybe if I had it on my camera. It's very texturedy. Texturedy? Huh, well, new words. So once I got this, the base complete, and I felt, you know, pretty confident that I could do that, I could make it. I cut down the pieces of wood that were here. I cut them down. And I don't know if you noticed this. They used to sell these square, uh, these, these pins at Michael's. This is one of the ones that I used for the top. But they also sold like one that had a square base. So I cut four of them, cut them down the wire, and I just made a little hole. This is very easy wood to make a hole in, glued them in there. And then for the top pieces here, I used one of these. And where's the rest of the stuff? One of these, one of those balls, and another one of those, and glued it in. So that was the top. And then, of course, I used the CA glue 
going to Google it because I have no idea what a bolo is a like a string tie. And it could also be a bead cap. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. It's about an inch and three quarters long, if that helps. And it comes in my gold and silver. So then um, I determined how far up I wanted this. And I just made a hole through there. I put a nail. Okay. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. But there's a nail here. And this is what I wanted. One other thing to tell you about. If I can, I just have to clean up a little bit. And I don't know if it's here. Let me just clean up, guys. So I can not talk to, too much for two seconds. I know if you, you know, people who might have wanted to see a step by step, but to be honest with you, once I got this, this done, I wasn't going to do it again. This little part to do wherever I was doing here just to show you was fine. I, but oh, I also use these. I clipped off this, you know, the extending wire, and those are my spacers in between the crib and the stand. I use that because the nail went straight through that, oh, pfft, straight through that hole. It was perfect. Let's get that there. Let's get that there. That there. That there. I had bought these. Um, I had seen. Someone make like little stars for their Christmas tree using these little like clothespins and big clothespins and this size clothespins. So Megan had these for some reason and she gave them to me. And I said, what am I good? What in goodness name will I ever use these for? And they came out to be very handy. And I had bought these the next size up, not the ones you would really use for um, clothes outside in the dollar store because i had seen on youtube like people making these wonderful like cute wooden stars and i was going to start making them and then i said you know what june why are you doing this you have enough stars for your tree and your tree is that's more like i i don't want to that's more um how would you say rustic looking and i'm sure you could dress it up a little bit but your tree is very dressy so why are you doing that you know, so I never finished making the stars. I, I could make them and give them to people. That's one thing. But for me, for my tree, I don't really need it because my tree, like I said, is a lot more dressy. Okay. Uh, this piece right here is half of a circle, a brass stamping that I cut down. And what I did was to help make sure that it would stay up here is once I put this on here, I pulled up three of the prongs. So it's really glued on top of these three prongs that I pulled up. So I think I explained everything. The nail went in this way. It came out over here. I had like a spacer bead and then a circle bead and then a little pin, a little circle, whatever, little circle bead. And that's what uh, the end of the, the nail is. I had to cut the nail down. But the nail is down through this side. And if I can, I was just cleaning up so I could figure out. I thought I kept it here. Put on the glasses. Where are the glasses? Oh, so you can see. I really tried to make sure that I kept everything out here to show you guys. Oh, that might go in there. Okay. And who knows where it is. Let's put that with the, is it under here? No. Sorry, guys. Just looking for something. Ah, here. I knew I kept it. I just couldn't find out where I kept it. Anytime something comes off that they send to you and they don't clean it, that's true. I could use them for that. Yes. Edwin, I could. Anytime that they send you something 
in with the chipboard and they leave little pieces like I showed you in the other ones. Keep them because you could always, well, you don't have to keep them. You don't have to do anything. But what I did was I used some of these. I use one of these over here and I know that you can't see it because it's black on black and it's very hard to see. But I put a piece here. I glued a piece right down here to stabilize the nail that's going through. And then what I did was I glued, how did I glue these? Like on either side of the nail head, I'll show it to you like that. I glued these just to give it like a little decorative touch. I think you can see that, right? And the nail head is right, right there that goes through this. And then, you know, uh, the clothespin spring. And then this was, this is all the, this balsa wood. So it's pretty firm. And then once you even put the CA glue on the balsa wood, I think that strengthens that up too. So that's how I made the crib. In case anybody will watch this in the future and just want to know some step-by-step -step in instructions if they want to make something similar. Uh, now I can toss all of this stuff out. But I mean, this with the CA glue, uh, if I, you know, it's pretty stiff. Don, yes, I'm yelling. What? Why, you, Martha, do you think they'll fit through the holes? Don, yes, I'm yelling. I have no idea. Okay, and see, this was one that I did that I didn't use. And believe me, when it got to the end, I was very annoyed with myself because it, there's a lot of patience that is required for this. And I was um, losing patience. Oh, Laurel is on. Oops, okay. I just got notified that Laurel is on. All righty, so that's it there. Now, uh, let's see. I got so much stuff over here because I wanted to make sure that I didn't get up. And I'm, and I'm so far, I'm doing good. You saw me running around trying to collect things. But I'm going to take a moment to just relax before I start the next thing. <sighs> Who are you yelling at, Phyllis? I'm very confused. Hopefully not me. Where's my coffee? Coffee time. Coffee break. Hey, Barbara, did you yell at Christine yet? Oh, I'm trying. You know what? I'm trying to move the screen down. It doesn't move down. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. No, we go like this. Come on. Okay. Now, the my, the mouse, the little baby mouse is going to be white. So all the bedding can be black, I think. See, this is what happens when um, I just try to, you know, half the time I'll do something live and I'll change it. This is some black, it's a like a knit, I think it was a t-shirt. Oh, you did? Okay, thank you, Barbara. It's a knit fabric, I think it was a t-shirt. And it really, you won't, well, maybe you can see it. The blacks don't really match, but you know what? We're just gonna have to go with it. I hate when blacks don't match. But now I'm going to take a few moments to just relax. I've been talking for an hour straight. <sighs> so, what have you all been crafting? Well, his eyes are going to be red. His eyes are going to be red like this one. Now, this one was needle felted. And like I said, I can't needle felt that small. 
I can, but it won't come out nice. I mean, you can needle felt anything. I'm welcome. Oh, okay. Oh, because you yelled at Christine. So, um, I'm going. I'm going to see how everything looks. Because if it looks too black, I might. I do have other fabric that has a little pattern in it. Because I don't know what his blankie is going to be. Yes, I do. I have this lovely thing that I've been working on. But it's a little too big. This is going for her dress. As you can tell, this is an experiment for her dress. Um, but I feel that the print is a little too big because this is a baby. It might be good they don't match. So you can see it better. That's true, Joanne. That's very true. And I'm also, I have lots of lace. But I can do something maybe, I mean, this is a very big pattern, but maybe I could do something with, see, this was my gothic ribbon I was thinking of using. And I love this stuff. I've used this a few times on different projects. I, I, this is, I must have bought this from Sky about four or five times. It's on Etsy. I love this ribbon. And it comes from overseas, but he has such good, such good trim. So much fun. That was from him. Let's see. I think I have something else from him. I don't know. It's in there. Oh, this stuff was from him too. Oh, I love this. This is another one that I absolutely love. See, this is what my dad, this is not compared to, I bought some needles off Wish I'm waiting for. I love this trim too. I mean, you can cut this. I've used pieces of this. Like you can use that little piece. To, I think I use pieces of this on the hearse. You can cut all sorts of pieces out of it. I got this trim from him. Um, let's see what else. What other trim? I have this little nice little trim that if I wanted to use, very pretty fine little trim. I could use this for something. It's like a rickrack, only it's rounder, very, and it's, it's got texture, but you can't see because my my camera isn't that good. But it's very textury, very pretty textury. I don't know if it's a word. Uh, where's the other trim that I got from him? Besides that, you all know that if I don't have it in black, I, if I have it in a different color, I'll just paint it. There is another trim that I bought from him. I had I've used up a lot of it. Ooh, what's this? Nothing. Okay. Um, not oh this one come on I love this isn't that beautiful and I think I got this from him too with beads on it I've used this on something can't remember what but I painted it white I think oh the hearse I made ash with the um the little mouse as a driver I, it's sold, so I can't. I don't. Let me. I don't know if I have a picture of it. I don't think I have a picture of it in my camera. I mean, in my phone. Let me see. Maybe I can find it, so I can just relax for a second. Let's see. Oh no, I can't find it there. <sighs> no, I don't think I have it. Nope. No, I don't have it. Um, you know what? Ashley, I'll look for it. Hey, Kathleen, how are you? Hi, welcome. Um, hi, to Tony. I saw you this time. How are you, Tony? I got you. You just try to slip in. Antonio. Antonio is the guy that I did the uh, the Bafana for. Uh, you know what, Edwina? I'm going to do a coach, not a hearse. And a lot of the things I'm going to do on the coach, I'll try to um, make it so that you can see. And getting back, I'm glad, Antonio. Um, getting back uh, to Shannon, I'm going to try to get a picture of it from, I have it on my little you know, one of those thingies you stick in the computer and you put your pictures on? I don't, a disk drive, a something drive. I don't know. The kids know. They try to drive me crazy with all these names. A little drivey thing. 
I have pictures on it there. I'll share some pictures with you. So Kathleen's here, Tony, Antonio's here. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. So I'm going to follow. I have a look. I think I might have a picture of it. June. Okay, Krista, that would be wonderful. Flash drive. <laughs> oh, I can't laugh. It hurts. But <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, one of those privy things. Yeah. You know. That I'm then I could get on to all of this StreamYard, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, Etsy. I think, and then you know, they make fun of me because they come in and they hit four keys on the keyboard and everything is fine. And I'm like still back and saying, What was the first thing you hit? So I'm gonna use Ara's way. Ara is Bentley House Minis. Um, Ara's way of making something a little bedding, see if it works. If it doesn't work, we'll go to plan B. I, you finished your pineapple necklace, wonderful, Kathleen. Excellent. What kind of stones did you use? How do I do this? Okay. You know, they close now and they'll open in, in two seconds. You know what? Come on, bub. Oh. Send me a picture of it in chat, Kathleen, and in Messenger, and I'll, I'll put it up here. I'm sure it's on Facebook, but if you can, send me a picture so we can all see it. You're working on a gothic necklace. Trying to make me jealous, Telly? Oh, so I cut this piece of paper out of my instant potato buds. For a while there, <laughs> oh, blonde tiger eye. I've seen brown tiger eye. I've never seen blonde tiger eye. Because um, for a while there and still now I have to, because of all the missing teeth that I have in my mouth, I'm gumming my food. So, and I'm not cooking potatoes. I'm just, I don't have the patience for it when I come home from work or even ahead of time. But I'll tell you something else. So this is from my uh, potato spud thing box. Eating... Today I try to have a salad. It took me over a half an hour to eat the darn thing. And then when I put in some, I had to put the pretzel, how to eat the pretzels because I like putting uh, pretzel sticks in my salad. That was such a pain in the neck because I don't, um, the gums are still pretty open. Not open, they're not healed yet. But I have to go back to him tomorrow. Because I had to go back to see him this past Monday because of what I thought was the infection that turned out to be some really pretty canker sores, nice and big and red. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to need three layers. But I'm going to cut it anyway. Oh, um, Martha's working on a, uh, on a gothic necklace too? Martha, I want to see that. Can somebody send me pictures on all these gothic necklaces? And let me see, Edwina, I don't think we're, um, I don't know, maybe we are friends on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, um, if you send me a thing, I can show you, send you pictures of the coach that I made, the funeral coach. Okay. That's three layers. 
Now, I don't remember how she exactly how she did this. So it's going to be a little trial and error because I didn't look before I got on. And that's how much we're going to clean it. Oh, yeah. So I can tell you this fun part. So we've had lots of leaks in the house. I don't need all of this. We can save some of this. Um, washing machine decided, even though during COVID, during last year COVID, Megan and I fixed it. Um, it was not stopping. That's a pain. Those are such a pain in the neck. Oh, wait. I'm losing chat. Can I see pictures? Wait. No. Martha's. Wait. No, June. Martha is not, is not doing it. Talise is. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it. I got it now. Telly is. All right. Um. So besides... This, uh, whatever, since the last time I've seen you live, we've had some interesting things. Nothing, you know, nothing critical. Um, but my washing machine flooded again. And that was, these can't cut because that's because you cut things with these that you're not supposed to. What is going on here? Okay. We'll just use these stupid scissors that take me an eternity. So, and I don't know, no, because I'm not going to cut straight. Do I have another pair of scissors here? I got scissors all over the place, and they're all messed up because I use them for the, I don't have my, I have to go out and buy myself a pair of fabric. See, this is not going to cut either. Fabric scissors, because I ruined all my fabric scissors by being lazy and using them on paper. Um. What was I saying? So my washing machine died. Megan, who is my uh, washing machine person I fix things with. Eddie, oh, yeah, oh, I got to tell you about the refrigerator. I've had more leaks in here. I don't know. The element of water is just pissed off at me, and I don't know why, because it just keeps causing leaks. So we figured out fixing. Okay, Joanne. Um, let's see. Did I get any messages? Hold on. No messages. Okay. Uh, so we figured out that trying to fix it or what we thought it was going to cost was a lot of money. So we just decided to get a new one because it seemed like parts were breaking. So I got a new washing machine, but for one weekend, because I got it really quick, thank goodness, um, I had to go into the public laundromat. And uh, do my wash there because uh, I was, there was just too much laundry. And so the public laundromat it was. I had to go two days because first day I had to do all the towels that we used to clean up the leak. And then the second day I went to do the clothes. So I was spending one weekend at the laundromat. And then... That happens. We got the new washer. You know, one of those plastic tubs. Uh, I'm mad at myself for using my scissors like that. Are my kids doing? I found a pair of left hands, and they feel weird holding them. I don't use them. I know. I I, I have to stop using. I have to get a good pair and just stop using them and just like. Because these originally, well, these I use a lot for my needle felting because they have that nice little point on them. Um, because, and they they were very sharp, and every single one of these scissors, who knows, these were pretty good. I just gotta try to sharpen them. I have a, a sharpener somewhere that I can try to sharpen them. Okay, hold on. I tried to send it. Oh, okay, you got it. Here's Kathleen's pineapple necklace. That's beautiful. I got it's pineapple because of all of these things here. Nice. Hold on. Ah, what it, sometimes my phone makes me. Okay, I saw that picture. Oh, go back. Here we go. Here's here's another shot of it. The bottom. Those look like leaves. Those are leaves. Very beautiful, Kathleen. Very beautiful. Okay, so now. 
I really should learn. Um, really should learn how to use my phone sometimes. Shannon, you messed up mom's scissors. Yeah, that's I. Uh, my mom was a seamstress. Are oh, you welcome, Kathleen? My mom was a seamstress, and uh, we she had a pair of scissors that she used, and we didn't touch them. Heaven forbid we didn't touch them. No, I wasn't. Nobody was that brave. There we go. You know what? Just take off some of this. Okay. Garbage because it's the hem. Okay, and I think what I'm supposed to do, you know what? I'm going to cut off some of those corners. Let's cut off the corners a little bit. It's a little much on the corner. Now, a lot of times I have to say, and I think every anybody who knows me knows that I'll probably do this again because I never, usually I'm not satisfied with the first thing. But we'll try it and we'll look at it for a little while. Yeah, I have pinking shears. I should take out the, I don't know what they're called now, but we, yeah, they're called pinking shears. Kelly, I didn't see you gothic necklace. Did you? Because I remember, I think you have those, um, sorry, I'm not in frame. You have those skulls. Love those skulls. Love, love, love those skulls. I even bought um, from Amazon. I realized that COVID has given me a lot of money. Oh, gosh, this is cut wrong. Um, and the reason why is because I, thankfully, uh, my job was still paying me while we were out. And we weren't going out anywhere. And I, and I had, like, <sighs> very strange, and I'm grateful for it. Very grateful for it. But you spend a lot of money going out, even if you just pick up something a little bit to eat. It's like always a lot of money. I have my mom's pinking shears. Yes. I'll get some decent scissors when the kids move out. You should have a shrunken head rattle for the baby. Ow. Don't make me laugh. It hurts. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Well, I got to see, like, the hands are going to be really, really tiny. And I'm not sure that I can put anything in the hand. I mean, I could put it on the side, but we'll see. We, we will get to accessories when, you know, let's see what we're doing here. Kathleen, finally. I am mean, Kathleen, Christine. Jeez, you fell asleep. Shrunken head mouse, cute. Ow. I'm going to try. I can try. You never know what I'll do. Christine, no falling asleep. And where's Victoria? Can I just say that? Where the heck is my Victoria? I'm trying to. Yeah, I just might lay it on the blanket. That's okay, Christine. I think this is what she did. Whatever. I should have watched a video before I did this. 
I should let also let the fabric tap dry. Not heard anything from Vic recently. Well, I know she finally started posting some pics on Facebook, and I'm very happy about that. Hope maybe she's getting back to doing some crafting. Oh, don't try to give everybody hearts that you're so late, Christine. I know you're trying to you're trying to butter up to everybody because you're an hour and twenty five minutes late. <laughs> I can't laugh. Don't make me laugh. Uh, hurts. Laughing hurts. That's... Oh, so I was talking to you about my leaking. So then, um, got the new dish uh, washing machine. <laughs> and then what happened? Ah, the refrigerator sprung a leak. Now, something had been going wrong with the refrigerator, and I didn't know what it was, and I really didn't. I, I'm too tired. I didn't want to, like, get involved in what the heck happened. But it was, like, it, it was getting too cold, so I had to lower it. Well, I was taking a nap, and all of a sudden, I hear all this commotion. or trying to take a nap, and um, I go downstairs, and Eddie just says, Mom, just go away. And him and Megan were in the process of pulling the refrigerator away from the door, from, from the wall. It's in like a cubby. Um, um, if I can make it small enough, ladies, I will do it. I will do it. I just, I don't know if I can sculpt it small enough because it's got to be like this big. Like the head of the rattle has got to be that big. So I don't know if I can sculpt. We will see, though. We can try. We can play around. We can try. Um, Because I think that would be really cute to have. I'm not sure I like that it goes. I don't know. I got to look to see if there's something I can do. I'm not sure I like that it goes down so much. Whatever. Okay. I don't like that part. So um, the refrigerator leaked, and he cleaned it up, and Megan did the research to see what was wrong with it, and um, so far, so good. It didn't happen again. So we've had at least... Lots of leaks between the roof that I had to get done. The washing machine leaked a couple of times. The refrigerator leaked. So I am now asking the element of water that I think maybe I should just maybe start drinking water a lot more because maybe it was pissed off at me that I wasn't drinking enough. I don't know. But please, I don't want to have it any more water unencased, you know, flying all around and flooding. Feels like it's too much bulk. Let's not take off the finger. Telly, don't fall into the trap. Christine is just trying to apologize for being late. With all them hearts. What happened here? Okay, let's see. Now, the piece of cardboard fit in here. I don't know if this is going to fit in here now. Oh, yes, it does. Look at that. Not bad. Take the glasses off because you can't see. Oh, so we have now a little bed. A little bed for the, the, you can see it that way better, for the crib. How nice. Good. I think I like that. 
I think I like that. Okay, now I'm gonna try to make. Uh, I didn't. I didn't think this through, so I don't know how this is gonna go. No change, deteriorating rapidly. Oh gosh. Okay. Christine has had some bad news recently, but she has the twins. So we're going to think about the, those beautiful twins that her nephew had. I know people... I know I'm probably going to get in hot water but by saying this with certain people, but when you... I don't know. I don't know what the right thing is. Thank you. Thank you, Edwina. So um, I was talking at the beginning. Shirley, I don't know. I don't remember if you answered me, if you're still here, sweetie. Uh, is your allergies feeling a little bit better? Or is they still messed up? Because um, my car... I have a black car. It's still sort of green dusted from the maple. Um, you know, for Mother's Day, I don't really, uh, I don't really celebrate it that much. It's not a big deal to me because, that, you know, at the beginning when I first became a mom, we were still celebrating for the moms that went before my mom, his mom, and stuff. So it's never been a very big deal for me. Um, we got so and I was also in pain with my tooth because I just had the teeth extracted two days before three days before So the kids got me Chinese food and I just stayed in bed but um, Eddie washed my car as a fate, you know as a, for me doing chores for me is better So he washed my car and he vacuumed the inside and everything else like that and Megan did some uh, weeding in a flower bed for me, which was uh, big and um no, they're a lot better. Excellent, Shirley. I'm glad. You're welcome, sweetheart. Um, my car, like he washed it, and then two days later, it was that green, that light green, because I'm right under a maple tree, and they have that light green stuff. So it's it's just, you can't keep your car clean. Why bother? It's just going to get all messed up anyway. Okay, so now I think I want to put a pillow in here, right? Babies need a pillow. But I'm not sure on how to make the pillow because I didn't think it through. Think it through. Think it through. What is this nonsense? I don't like that. Okay. Oh, wait. Does that? Hmm. Maybe I could use that for something else. Okay. I was taking out all the ribbons just to see what if I wanted to put something. But then, you know what? You, you get to a point where like if I wanted to do something like that, but it's too big, too much, and you have to stop. You can't. <clears throat> the only thing that I may do with this is I have to, again, touch it up. But because uh, there's some shiny spots from the CA glue. And I have to do the tool and put the beading, the same beading on top of here. Um, I may. I don't know. Take some silver because she's got a lot of silver in her dress. And I just might lightly, don't fall, please. Thank you. I just might lightly go over some of this with silver. I don't know if I don't like it. I can always paint it black again, so it's not a problem. And where am I missing anything? I'm sorry, Christine, about that. Yes. I, I don't know if you want to tell the story, but Christina's had a couple of things happen that weren't exactly good. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that so she can tell a story if she wants. Okay, now, I'm, I'm just organizing because I have to think this through now. I don't know if I want to... Because I think I want to put that little tiny lace that I had. Where's that lace? Where's that little tiny lace? 
Not that one. Take the glasses off. You know, I have cataracts, or, you know, because I'm old. And um, they said that, you know, one day they're going to take them and put new lenses in my eyes. But when they do that, you can see far, which would be the first time <coughs> since I was nine years old that I could see far without glasses. But I'll need the glasses for close up. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get used to that. I guess you get used to anything, right? I'm getting used to having no teeth and gumming my food. Because I think this would be small enough if I put it like that. And I don't really want to, I don't really, really, really want to sew this. So, because it's just going to get too thick if I sew it. All right. Let me try with this piece before I mess up my own. I don't know if I have more of this fabric. It's not bad. Mother-in-law, yeah. Um, you know, that's another operation that's in my future. But uh, I'm not rushing for that one if I can hold off a little bit. Well, this is just going to be my practice run. Let's just pretend that this is my practice. And we'll see if I can get it done the way I want to do it. Because I have to think this through. And I can't. I'll just do it on the live stream. And if it doesn't work, it'll give me at least what doesn't work. Like these scissors. Let's just try to cut it straight. So. <laughs> can I get away with not hemming this because I really really don't well this is too small right yeah it's too small can I get away with not hemming this let me see come back come over here two, two, two. yeah I know Christine the car with Billy I'm just very thankful that nothing happened to him because it's just, it's just too much. You know, it's just too much. Is there any way? I know I'm talking. If I just do it like this and glue it, I don't think I'd have to stitch it. It doesn't look that bad. Because this doesn't ravel because it's knit. And then just have this as a pill. Okay, we're going to try that. All right, let's just see if, if it looks okay once you glue it. And I'll do a long edge. Oh, hi, Bougie Bear Vintage. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Welcome to the show. Krista, thank you. Good night, Krista, honey. You take care of yourself and let me know how the new meds work, okay? All right. Eeky, eeky. Do not do that. We're not ready for you to do that yet. I'm just seeing if it'll hold. I'm not going to put my ribbon there. I'll do it on the good one. Okay. Let 
remember fabric tack lightly lightly just to get it to hold oh okay joanne all right you know, Joanne, were you uh, like, I always, I freak out. Are you up for it? I'm making a pillow or trying to. I'm just, I'm just doing a little practice run to see if it'll work. My idea, because I don't want to sew it. I, I have no desire to sew this. I have my sewing equipment here if I decided to do it. So I'm just practicing on a piece of fabric that, let's see. Able to get it. I did that. Curl up the fabric. Put it in. Um, uh, 50 million tools. I don't even know which one I need. Uh, did Martha say she was leaving? Am I missing something? Good night. Good night, Martha. Oh, you're saying good night to everybody else. Oh, geez. Here we go. It's like, what? No, Martha, I'm having trouble with the chat, Martha. You know me. Come on. I, I haven't. They keep taking teeth out. I think they're taking out brain cells. Okay, I think I could get this done. I think I could get this done somehow without, and I think it'll look good, I think. Chris is saying goodnight to everybody. That's why I'm, you know, heck. <laughs> I thought everybody was leaving. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Be right back. Where you go, Barbara? Don't leave. I'll say good night to you. Holy moly. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. You can press it firmly after a while, after it's been there. And I think it'll work. And then I just need to somehow <laughs> stuff a little of this ouch. Oh, gosh. I'm going to see the doctor tomorrow. <laughs> the dentist. No, the surgeon. Oh, can't remember all these people's titles, surgeons. Okay. That's cute, little pillow. I mean, oh, let's do it in the camera. So I think I could try to do an official one. But the official one is going to have lace involved in it. So I'm glad I did a practice run. Okay. One <laughs> with the cuckoo's nest. You got that. You got that right. Okay, I'm taking a break for a second. Where's my water? Okay. <sighs> well, you know what? Like I said, I got I gotta get um teeth because I have to be able to chew. And I don't know how much they uh, do on the cataract surgery. Um, how much I'm going to have to pay for it? Because nothing in my you know, my medical is not. It's supposed to be good, but I'm not too sure about that. So um, the implants are going to cost me a bloody fortune because my dental insurance does not cover implants. They would rather cover... Uh, caps and root canals and connecting caps. And you know what? Um, it's not good for your bone. It's really not good for your bones to have connecting like a cap, fake tooth cap. I've had that too. My teeth are rotten and you know, whatever. But I just, uh, it's going to cost me 
you know what, scissors, don't do that. Okay, I'm tired of you doing that. You're going to go in the garbage pretty soon. Okay. <sighs> now that I'm now that I've threatened my scissors, use that one. Use this one? No, I didn't put the lace on it. I want to have a little lace all around it. You know I have to make it more complicated than it possibly could ever be. <sighs> I'm sweating. Why am I sweating? Uh, I was gardening, by the way, today, and, and I was gardening last weekend, and I've decided in my old age that I can only garden for an hour. Used to be able to go out there for a couple of hours, you know, sit and relax. I can only garden for an hour. Gardening is tough. And I don't, and weeding. I'm not gardening. Let's, let's be honest about it. I'm not gardening. Um, I'm weeding. That's all I'm doing. Gardening is like you see these programs with these in, you know, like especially I love the English programs or the BBC programs where these little old ladies are out there, and I consider myself a little old little old lady. Um, and they're just they have their little straw hat on and they got their gardening gloves and they're going like this with the dirt and they're potting it and their gardens are gorgeous and nobody's sweating. I look like poop when I come back from the gardening. I am sweating. Hair is like all stick. It's disgusting. I always have to take a shower right afterwards. Clothes are filthy. There's no like little hats and sitting back and enjoying anything. I don't know how these people get away with this on TV. Edwina, thank you for stopping in. It was so nice to meet you. I'm glad you were here. And like I said again, um, if you if you're on Facebook or Instagram, if you let me know, you know, I, I can uh, send you pictures. But it was nice to have you here. I know I have to wait. So good night, Edwina. I have to weed this. Yeah, I am always weeding. By um. Once the roses start blooming, I'll take pictures of everything. But it's like, well, I, and even with mulch, I weed. My name is just June Gallagher. Oh, you wouldn't know that? <laughs> oh, gosh. Here, I'll write it. I'll write it. In. Why would she know that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I almost had him. Uh, did I spell it right? Okay, here you go. Uh, I know. I, I'm sweating like a pig. I got dirt all over the place. I got dirt all over my my, my clothes. You know, I mean, I want to be like this little, well, I am the little old lady with my little straw hat on, just sitting there not working up a sweat. Oh, Okay. Well, that's my name on Facebook. I don't know. Can I link Facebook? I can't link my thing. Oh, Joanne, I got, I had Jurassic Park weeds. I had dandelion. Okay. Little explanation. When I was growing up, Italians eat dandelions, the greens, and they eat the wild ones. And I could never figure out which ones in my yard, because it seems like there's different varieties of dandelions. And I was going to start eating them because I, what the heck, a cultivated or domestic dandelions just don't have the same bitterness to them. Um, and I haven't found any of the wild ones. They usually come out around Easter. But in, when I went to Uncle Giuseppe's, which is an Italian store by me, they didn't have any of them because you um, cut them, you wash them really good because they're very, you know, they're dirty. And then you got to cut them really fine, very, very fine. And just put like onion powder, salt, whatever, and um, olive oil and vinegar, whatever your choice of vinegar is. And um, I was like, I have such weeds here. I could probably eat, like, have, it was unbelievable, bags and bags of weeds. And, there were, and then I have mini um, Japanese maples because I have one and the guy next door to me has one. I have, a, like, it. the whole color of my mulch in the back bed was all red because it's red little things. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, so Eddie's going to do that one for me tomorrow because I just can't do it. I'm sorry, getting back to Edwina, um, I can't, I, I don't think I can link my Facebook. Um you know what? If I don't see you this time, I'll I'll get you some other time. But I'll try to look for you too. 
so that'll be it. Okay. Thanks, Sid Wiener, again for stopping in. Yeah. Um. Uh. The um. The wild ones, the domesticated ones, aren't as good. They're not. Well, they are as good, but they're not as bitter. I guess it's it is and. There were some of them that, I, you know, the roots were unbelievable. And then I have all sorts of weeds back there. But I have uh, three fig fig bushes. They're not trees. It, and they have very shallow roots. So I can't, like, use a cultivator to pull them out. So that's bending over all the time. It's just too much. It's just far too much. Okay. So I think, let me see. That's a little... Uh, it's a little small and that's a little big. So how about we cut the difference? Okay. Did I do anything there? Okay. Okay. There we go. Look, salad, I'm back. I'm sorry, I had to get Kanani ready for bed. Aw, I'm glad you're back, Barbara. Ouch. You know what? This pin has glue on it. That's why it's not going through the fabric and it wanted to stick me. There we go. All right. Yeah, I think that's good. We're going to do this by eye. Hopefully, I don't cut myself. That, that. That's good. Okay. All right. Now. Poke salad. I don't know what poke is. I'm sorry. I you mentioned poke. Poke salad. I don't know what that is. My mom fries. We used to fry the uh, zucchini flowers. That was delicious. And dandelion. You know, there was another one of those specials that somebody made dandelion wine. I always. You cut the stems of poke and fry it like okra. I don't know what poke is. I'm sorry, I just don't know what poke is. I probably do know what poke is, but I don't know it by the name that you're calling it. Because maybe it's something different. Okay. Now, this has got to be pretty well exact because there's going to be no seam going on here. So one side has to be pretty much exact as the other one. Well, let's not pull it, June. I, I see chats moving. I'm trying to. Billy made some. He made dandelion wine? Poke salad, Annie. No, I don't know poke salad, Annie. I'm sorry. Okay, good night, Martha. Enjoy your dinner. Or if you're still here with us, but go have some dinner. And a quarter and an eighth, one and a quarter and an eighth. Okay, that's the same. This isn't straight, so let's cut that. I'm going to look it up. I can't look it up now about the poke salad, but I am going to look it up. Did I cut both sides? Oh, I did do that. Okay, I am going to look up poke salad. All right, so we have our two sides, and I cut it. Alrighty. Do I like that? So, no, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do here. Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four. Well, I don't want these on it. 
I don't know what pokes out. Like I said, I'm going to go look it up. Just cutting off these little ends to here because uh, that's just going to be inside the pillow and there's no need for them. See now that now, now it's not opening. All right. And sorry, let's go. Tastes like spinach. Ooh. Okay, let's see what we got going here. We got a mess going here. That's what we got going here. Okay. All right. Fabric tech. Hi again, Martha. I, I'm getting very confused with the hi again, buys again, but so I'm just going to do this. I don't know if you can, um, hopefully I'm in screen. And my fabric tack looks like it's going to need some, it's at the end almost. I might have to put in some acetone just to get this end point a little bit more. Getting gunky on me. You know, people ask me a lot, well, how long did it take you to do that? I don't know. Maybe I'm not a fast crafter. Joanne, do they ask, does anybody ask you that? Because you sell your stuff too. They always want to ask me, or, well, no, anybody who makes stuff. It's not, but um, they're always asking. Sorry, just didn't want to say Joanne because there's everybody, everybody who makes stuff. It's, they're always asking me, well, how long did it take you to make that? Like, a long time. They want to know like days and hours. And it's like, are you kidding me? Come on, buddy. You can do this. I'm sure you can. Yeah, you want to know, like, what does it matter how long it took me? Hours, days. It's almost, I guess sometimes I think it's like they want to justify the price. Believe me, guys. The price is for the amount of time. I'm not even, you know, for the amount of time I'm making things. And... Would be a probably on poverty below minimum wage, that's for sure. Okay, how is Billy feeling, Barbara? Jack just called tomorrow night at seven as well. Oh, gosh. Oh, Christine, I'm sorry, I was busy yakking and not looking. I'm sorry, Christine. Sandy, you've had some pain. Yes. My stuff is really simple, June. <laughs> no, it isn't. I've seen your stuff. You have a lot of intricate stuff going on there. Christine, I'm I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't know if it's for the better or not, because maybe the quality of his life is gonna really stink. I can't. I mean, I'm not a judge and jury of that. There's... <sighs> Sorry. Poop. Shiitake mushrooms. Something. 33-year-old guy. God. Gosh. 
and I got gush. Don't bring the water. Lord's name is it. Okay. All right. Whoa, my fabric tech is dripping. That's why we are called starving artists. You know, nothing like lose not working the way this supposed to. Okay, hopefully it's not going to look terrible. Okay. Because I'm not seaming this, I'm just going to take, maybe cut off the edges a little bit. And I know I got fabric tack on, the, on this side, but we're going to, um, we'll fix that. We'll acetone it on a Q-tip. Okay, maybe that's a little too much off. Oh, well, we'll put that on the bottom. Okay. Oh, boy. The other driver didn't, the other driver was okay, right? Christine? People say the most darndest things, you know, um, when there's accents. I say the most darndest things. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't think people should have asked her that either. I mean, if it was family, that's one thing. I Did I ever tell you? Well, I don't think she watches my videos. But um, one lady about two weeks after my husband died asked me, so how is life without your husband? I was like, what? You know? It was such a strange question to be asked. Like, it sucks. How's that? That's how life is without my husband. It sucks. But, you know, at the time, you're... You're sort of taken aback by the question. But I think I've looked at it funny. I'm not sure. But that was pretty much the end of uh, whatever friendship was not blossoming in that direction. Not that she was a best bud or anything. But after that, it was like, I got no time for you. Uh, no, it's a stepson. Oh, okay. Has known for substance abuse. Okay.
just trying to stuff the pillow a little bit. Oh, I'm going over two hours. Look at that. It's 805. Uh oh. Hope YouTube or StreamYard doesn't decide to do something messed up with me. Because I think the last time I was on and I went over two hours, something started happening with the stream. So I just had to end it. Okay. Ooh. Now, I mean, sometimes I've said some stupid things too. So I just try to, you know, you just try to mark it like, and I'm sure people didn't like what I said. So, but I think one, one of the reasons why she said that to me was because she wasn't happy in her marriage. And, and I think um, wouldn't have minded if something happened to her husband. I'll just leave it at that. But, oh, we're organizing. Whoa, and I just hit my camera because I have no spatial awareness. Okay. All right. Let's try to get this done right. Let's see. Come on, you can you can fluff out in a second. Let me just close it. There's a little too much glue over here. And I will take that off later. Okay. Oh, well, you're welcome, Kathleen. I'm still waiting for uh, Telly sh to send me a pic. Maybe she did because I turned my notifications off. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Things are going. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. She did, she did, she did. Here's Telly stuff. Okay. Whoa. I love the raven heads. Look at that. Look at that necklace. Wow. Hold on. Let me just try to figure this out. Whoa. <gasps> Is that a skull? That's a skull. That's a skull. Sorry. I'm enjoying this more than. <laughs> Wait. Oh, and the raven head. Oh, I love the raven head. Where am I going? Thank you, Telly, for showing me these pictures. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I don't know if you can see it. Thank you, Telly. That is gorgeous. Did anybody else get to see it? Billy's doing better, but he's still, I'm sorry. I'm like, Billy's doing better, but still has a bad cough. I'm glad he's doing better. Did everybody see Telly's necklace? Or was I too busy looking at it myself and didn't let anybody else see it? Look at that raven head or the whatever. And that's a skull, I think, right there. I love it. That's another shot. Okay. Thank you, Telly, for sending me pictures. That's, that's a beauty. Okay. Well, here it is. I'm not 100% sure I'm in love with it, but here's a little pillow. Um, I might do it again if I have the fabric because I can concentrate more on it. But there it goes. Can you see it? <laughs> I can't see it. Black on black is not really good. But there's a pillow there. Can Oh, shoot. There you go. There's a little pillow. Beauty. Beautiful, Kelly. Okay. So we accomplished a mattress and a pillow and the explanation. I think that's going to be all of it. I'm just going to relax for a few minutes now. This is all the fabric I have of this, really. So let's hold on to it. 
And I think, oh, I think this is all the trim I have. So that means I got to go and buy more trim. Yay. Love Raven Skulls. Beautiful job, Telly. That's some full beautiful necklace. It seems like it's going to weigh a nice amount. What is that, a black crib? Yes, it's a black gothic crib. Ask Joanne. She's the one who started this. It's going to have a little mouse devil in it. And then it's going to have this when I have a... <laughs> I haven't finished figuring it out. I have had more problems with this skirt, and I just can't get the skirt together. I think it's because what I want to do might just take me too long, so I'm trying to avoid it. But she's going to be a black, like, um, not black, an evil, <sighs> Phenopola. Whew, an evil fairy princess, but she's going to be dressed in black. And all different tones of black. Because I haven't done one of these in a long time. An evil one. I haven't done an evil one at all. So I have to make an evil one. And I love this fabric. It's like um, a netting fabric. But it's got the sparkles in it. You get it at Joann's. But. So. And then I got to put the tool. This is going to look cool. And then the mouse is going to be white with red eyes. And somehow or another, I have to figure out the tool. And I know that you really can't see it that well, but the tool is going to go over there somehow. And then the blanket can be a little bit of either a little bit of lace or something else that's not totally black. I don't know if I'm going to redo the pillow to something else, but there we go. I just got to figure out how to drape the tool. Something to that effect. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Something like that. But we'll figure it out. And then this is going to be well on its way to being done, but I got to get that other thing done too. I got to get the uh, Rosa Mice. That's Rosa. Rosa Mice, because this is Rosa Mice's baby. Thank you. If I were an evil one, I'd love to lay in the crib. Ow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank Ouch. Wait. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for the compliments. <laughs> Joanne. <laughs> Thank you, Telly. Uh, <laughs> ow, don't, you guys, don't make me laugh too much. It hurts. Okay, so let, I'm just putting everything in here. Um, when I first started doing this, it would spin around, so I put it, like it would dump the baby out. So ouchy. I put more black paint in there just to make it so it wouldn't, ah, uh, it wouldn't dump the baby out. And then I have this which I don't know what I was using this for. It was gold originally. But once I figure out the tool, I was going to put something like this around this top um, to make it look like a sort of like a weird crown. Um, I can't get any right, right around there. And then I was just thinking of maybe putting string down i don't know how it's going to look or beating down to every one like maybe five or six things and then the top over here and then the tool coming around i don't know oh thank you martha you're here did you get something to eat i hope you got something to eat okay so it's eight o'clock ish Oh, it's 8.15. I've been on two out, two, two. Let me switch it around. Goodness knows what I look like. Hold on, because camera mic. And switch this around. going to scare you when you see. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oof. Alrighty. And I can put my glasses on because I'm not crafting. And that's it. So we got that done. Um, I don't know 
Uh, oh, I have good news. Let me put this on right. Okay. My daughter's graduating college this week and she's walking and I'm going to get to see it. And I am so thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, everybody. Telly, Joanne, Barbara, all of you, all of you for coming and hanging out with me. My daughter is graduating and she's going to be walking and um, they're allowing us in the stadium. They're doing it in two different ways. The graduation is going to be on Wednesday in the stadium. And then she's like her college is broken up into every little colleges. And um, so her little college, SOMA, uh, something scientific, I don't know what it is. Um, they're going to be doing a virtual graduation on Friday afternoon. So I'm taking Wednesday off so I can be with her. And I'm also going to take Friday afternoon off so I can be on the virtual thing. I can watch it since she's going to be virtual. I can watch it with her. And I'm very excited. And she is graduating magna cum laude. And I was really excited about that. And she's going to be on the dean's list. I don't, or the dean's recommended something. I don't know, something deany. And that's really bad that I don't know, but it's something to do with the dean. We're not going to talk too loud, although she probably hears me. Um, so I'm really excited about that. That's what I'm going to be doing this week. Uh, you know, going to celebrate that. We have to find some place that she'll feel comfortable eating. And so we can, you know, even if we have to take the food to go and eat in a park, if it's a pretty day, that doesn't matter to me. That's also fun. So his first paid teaching job, congratulations to Devin. Congratulations. Okay, ladies and gents, if Antonio is still here, thank you all for coming. Christine, I'll be talking to you. Um, you'll be, I'll be thinking about it because that's whatever. Thanks everybody for stopping in and for coming and hanging out with me. I don't know when I'm going to go live again because life has just been happening. Some of it good, some of it not so good, but we're all still here. And I really appreciate that you came. Good night, everybody. Take care of yourself. Let me see how to get out of this because you know I never remember how to get out of this. And I hope to see you soon. Take care, everybody. Good night.